Have you ever thought about buying a house? Well, of course you have. For many people, buying their first home is the most important financial choice they will ever make. In this video, though, we'll look at something else. We're going to talk about how you can invest in real estate, not so you can live there, but so you can make a lot of money that will help you get to financial freedom faster. This is a top 5 summary of what you should learn from Brandon Turner's book on investing in rental properties. I know that it will keep Graham Stephan from sleeping tonight. The first thing you should remember is why you should invest in rental properties. That's a lot of good stuff to say about buying rental properties. Here are some good things about buying with debt. Do I need $200,000 in cash to buy that property for $200,000, as the Swedish investor asked? No, luckily not. When investing in real estate, it's easy to borrow money from someone else. So you can get started sooner and make more money on your capital. The more time you spend on this, the more you will get out of it. You can use your time and skills to improve your chances of success. For example, you can rehab a property yourself, network to find better mortgage deals, or just spend more time looking for the best properties. On the stock market, it is legal to trade on inside information. When you invest in real estate, you can go to jail if you use information that most other investors don't have. You are urged to use this information to your advantage. There are many ways to make money. There are four different ways to make more money by investing in rental properties. We'll talk about them in the third takeaway. You don't have to be there to make money, money will come in even if you choose to stay in bed that day. I'm still not convinced. Well, wait a minute, because here's the second takeaway, why you shouldn't become a landlord. Just like everything else in life, being a landlord has its bad points. You have to decide if it's the right way for you to invest. If you were already persuaded by the first point, I'm sorry, but I'm going to try to change your mind now. Building wealth takes time. This is not a way to get rich quickly. If you want to get rich by investing in rental property, you have to keep working at it over a long period of time. If you don't do that, you'll need to keep doing things over a long period of time. If you don't do that, it could become all-consuming. Like a lot of other things. I'm looking at you, YouTube, there's a chance that your rental properties will be all you can think about. Working your 95, thinking about rental properties, walking your dog, definitely thinking about rental properties, arguing with your spouse, thinking about rental properties, doing other things with your spouse, thinking about rental properties. When it comes to hard to please people, tenants can be hard to deal with at times. Some of them have really made an art out of making excuses for late payments and damage to property. It has to do with paperwork and keeping the books, just like any other business. But if you hate doing this part, you might have to think about hiring someone else to do it. Small black square. Small black square. Small black square. You can lose your investment, small black square, just like in any other investing activity, returns or not guaranteed, small black square, with proper research and by setting up your rental property investing as a business. You can greatly increase your odds of succeeding though. The third thing to remember is the four ways to make money. Okay. So, in the first takeaway, I said that there are many ways to make money from rental properties. Before we talk about what makes a good deal on a rental property, these are important to know about. So let's start with one, appreciation is when the value of an asset goes up over time. If you bought your house for $100,000 in 1990 and can now sell it for $200,000, that means it has gone up in value by 100%. Small black square. In Sweden? 
This way to make money has been very important over the last 30 years. Because of this, everyone now thinks that buying a home is a no-brainer. Small black square, small black square, small black square, small black square, small black square. Small black square. There are two kinds of appreciation, natural appreciation, which comes from things like inflation and a lack of supply, and forced appreciation, which happens when you fix up a property so that it makes money. If a rental property can't make you a good amount of money, you shouldn't buy it. Cash flow is just the amount of money you have left over from rent payments after paying for all of the property's costs and the loan's interest. 3 Ways to Save on Taxes This varies by country, but in most places, there are tax breaks for people who own rental properties. I have 4 loans to pay off. This is a good question. When you get a traditional loan from a bank, your monthly payments will be made up of two parts. Loan amount and interest Interest payments don't add to the value of your home, but money spent on the principal does. In the beginning of your mortgage payments, you usually pay more interest than principal. But this relationship changes over time, so that in the last year of the mortgage payment, almost all of it will go toward paying off the principal. What makes a deal worth taking? Ok, so now you know about the 4 ways to make money. Appreciation and cash flow are the two most important. But cash flow is easier to deal with than appreciation, because you need a crystal ball to see up the ladder. So let's focus on the first one. To figure out cash flow, add up all the property's incomes and subtract all its costs. Let's break these two parts down. Small black square, small black square, small black square, small black square. The income is based on the fair market rent, which is based on things like where the property is, where it is, where it is, the number of bedrooms, the quality, and the size of the property. Use sources like local newspapers, Airbnb, and Craigslist to stay up to date on what the fair market rent for your property might be. Small black square, small black square. Small black square. There are two types of costs, operating costs and capital costs. Operating costs include things like taxes, interest, insurance, vacancy repairs, water, trash, heat, electricity, etc. Call around and ask how much these things cost. For example, call your local electricity company to find out how much electricity will cost. The second one is capital spending. Even though these aren't everyday costs, they can still make or break your investment. For example, getting a new coat of paint, putting in new floors, getting a new roof, etc. Here's a cheat sheet from Brandon Turner, let's say your property brings in $1,500 a month and costs you $1,200. That means you'll get $300 in cash every month, or $3,600 a year. Small black square, skip this. Good. Well, you should also think about how much you paid for the house. Let's say you put $60,000 down on a house. That means that your C. O. C. R. O. I. This means that the cash on cash return on investment is 6% per year. This may be a bit low. Considering that an index fund on the stock market could earn between 7 and 10% per year, you want to see O, C, R, O, I, as high as possible. As possible. 5 things you should remember. Where can I find deals? Value is what you get for what you pay. Small black square, small black square, small black square. To find the best deals, 
you'll have to look far and wide. A good rule of thumb is to look at 100 properties, make an offer on 10 of them, and get one of them accepted. A wise investor once told me that he knew he was offering too much if more than 1 out of 10 of his offers were accepted. What should you look for, though? Here are a few ideas. Some of them may seem strange at first, but keep in mind that problems that seem terrible don't always end up that way. But they are easy to fix, which keeps prices low and lets you get a higher return. As an investor, a bad smell is one of the easiest problems to fix, but it keeps 99% of your competitors away. So, if you're willing to hustle, the smell of money is a bad smell. When a two-bedroom house is turned into a three-bedroom house with a hidden third bedroom, the fair market rent goes up right away. Look for large storage rooms or huge bedrooms that can be split into, for example, a bad roof, a leaking or ugly roof may seem like a big problem, but it's not. It costs a lot to fix, but it's easy and quick. A confusing maze. Most places have rooms that aren't connected to each other, but this isn't very popular in the market today. We want big rooms with a kitchen, dining room, and living room. No, I mean a room for eating, living, and cooking. Because of this, old homes sell for less. But sometimes it's easy to turn a labyrinth into a home with an open floor plan. Small black square, small black square, small black square. A jungle. Small black square. If the garden looks like the jungle where Tarzan lived, you know you can get a good deal. Landscaping is neither hard nor expensive, but it keeps other businesses away. Still, there are a lot of good things about investing in rental property, like being able to use leverage and work hard to get more money back. But there are also downsides to investing in rental properties, like the fact that building wealth takes a long time and you'll have to deal with difficult people. Investing in rental properties can make you rich through appreciation, cash flow, tax breaks, and paying off your loan. A good deal is one that gives you money, preferably as much as a C. O. C. R. O. I. As much as possible. Look for properties with easy to fix problems, but let's scare away the competition. Still, your future bank account will thank you for it and last but not least, now is as good a time as any to smash that like button into pieces. Cheers guys. Small black square. 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 Small black square.